So ask yourself, what are you? Where you are? In your family, what are you? Here at school, what are? Be the best that you are. Because everybody, each and every one of us here, they have something that they do very well. So pursue. The next one is? And then? Think of it as you, yourself. Be the one leading the pursuit. Be the overtaker. And be the recoverer. Because everybody is born with the capacity to transform society. Many other times that somebody may speak to you with the aim of encouraging you. But when I look at the book of Jeremiah 29, 11, it speaks about great future for everybody. The question is, how comes people do not attain that great future? How comes only a few are able to identify their true purpose and therefore become the renowned, the legions that ever lived? This strategy is not in dreaming. This strategy is not in lurking in fear. It is in believing in yourself and making those little baby steps when nobody is looking. Because the secrets of a man's struggle are in the darkness. When you sit and you cannot discipline yourself to task yourself, to read and question yourself, it will show in the exams. There are no miracles here. You've got to put in the hard work. And as Margaret Thatcher has told us, you've got to have a common sense of purpose. You don't measure yourself from the impossible. Yet, it is foolhardy to imagine that the mundane, the lackadaisical, the obvious will take you anywhere. You are born to be great. You are born to conquer. And even finding yourself at Buruburu High School, this is a same school for many a girl, spread across the many hamlets and villages of the Republic of Kenya, and possibly beyond. It is not so much that you have everything at your doorsteps. It is not so much that you like the teacher who stands before you to speak that which you may not contemplate or fathom, indeed understand. What matters is the goals that you set for yourself and not giving up because yesterday you failed. Because even as the good Bible says, the Lord's mercies are renewed each every morning. So every day, between now and your exams, and indeed in the future, you have a clean slate every 24 hours to start afresh. If you had given up because you thought your grades are not very good, the last exams that you did, maybe they may not even be better from the exams that you're just about to complete on Monday. I want to encourage you, my dear daughter, don't you ever resign to fate. Courage is in facing the reality of your moment and reimagining yourself, refashioning yourself to be purposeful and therefore fruitful. That is to mean every one of us is a child of God and God wants the best of us. Can you imagine eight billion of us, eight billion, not a million, not a thousand, not hundreds of thousands, but eight billion of us, we all wake up in the morning going to pursue 
that which we think is important for us? It is actually true that some of us are pangolists. We don't know what we are looking for. But God in heaven, I wonder what kind of algorithms are this? Everybody that evening will have eaten something, will have gotten something out of this terrestrial ball that is the earth. What does that tell you? That there are innumerable, there are gazillion opportunities without ever depleting that which was created before we ever thought that it would exist. Indeed, the body of man is actually earthen. That's why we say, from dust we came, and from dust we shall return. See the possibility in you. See the uniqueness in you, and bring out the best. Sometimes this needs to be called out. That is why Mrs. Wambua has called us here. So that you can have that motivation. But when you go, it's up to you to make it up for yourself. I'm extremely encouraged to hear that some people who we spoke to last time, last time when we were here, have increased in terms of performance because they took it upon themselves to follow that which I spoke to. I want to tell you, even today, it's never too late. Stand up, get up, be counted. If you missed your target by only 0.1%, don't think 9.2, which is a difference of about 9, 0.9 points, is so difficult. We are going to achieve it. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Pursue. 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 But what does it mean to pursue? It means when you cannot comprehend, read and read and read once again. Pursue means follow up with the teacher. Pursue him or her. Follow him or her to the staff room. Wait to remain behind a little bit. Pursue. Pursue with your fellow students. Pursue by trying to show that you know by training others. Speak it out. That is a pursuit. Direct even to the remaining form three or some of the questions you expect that you'll find in the exam. Possibly you help them improve their grades. Be their teacher. Lucky Dube says, teach the world about your people, about your culture. Teach them what you've learned. Pursue. Pursue. Overtake. What does it mean to overtake? Imagine before you do it. Reflect. Revise it. Revision. Envision. In your mind. The word revision, is, it has vision in it. Is what you're seeing. It's now been made like died in the wood. Like kini nikuwa na maono kuyaona te. Kama waswahili wangesema kuonoa. Sujui. French, you say voyeur. Be the visionary. Revise. Revision. Imagine those things that you are reading in a textbook happening in real life. It will stick. It will have better retention capacity. That is how you will overtake. Because when you're on a lane, on Jogo Road, and you want to go somewhere, before you zoom past the other vehicle, you must look around and see whether there is actually a leeway to do so. So you must know your environment. You must know those people who when they come in a room, into a room, they only make a lot of noise and nobody studies. Move away from them. I remember when I was in, in, in primary school, I was the best KCP student of my school, or people, and I was also a prefect of the classroom. In fact, I had two, I had two prefectships. 
uh, assembly and also the, 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 the class because they couldn't make me head boy because they thought I was their best student, so maybe I would perform. But so, Masi, Usianguke Mtiani, because I'd be a poor prefect. And any other prefect here. So, what did I used to do? I would go and clean, because to wash a I would clean my part, and then the rest would, uh, would, would be left to do it on Saturday. So, I would clean it on Friday, but the others would come and do that on Saturday. When they were cleaning, I would be somewhere locked. I had organized with one of our subordinate staff. He was, his, where he had been given his housing was joined to our dormitory, so he would give me his key. Jeff, you can remember somebody called Paul Nzioka. Uh, and, and then I would get in there and, and read. One day, some of those students led by one called Irene Yambura, I don't know where she went to, they were complaining that she jakuja kuwasha darasa. Kakuja ni kawambia simini miyosha hii engu wapa. So when they were making noise there, I overtook them and I became number one in that, in, that, in that year. Out of six exams, I led in four. So, overtake. Don't be part of the crowd. Overtake. Overtake. Overtake means if you think that you've not yet covered the syllabus correctly, go ahead of the classwork. Go ahead even of your teacher so that you are, you, are, you are better. Recover all. What does it mean? It means something has been lost in the process. There's some momentum that will be lost anyway. Please be alive that things will never work the way you want them to work. It's not fair to imagine that all shall work well. So whatever you have lost, possibly when you are informed to, possibly in your first term, is to map out and focus on it and take it in again. You can never say it is done. Somebody was telling me yes, the other day that when he was trying to pursue something, somebody told him, no, it was a bit too late. But I was convincing him and telling him, no, it's never done until it is done. Possibly you are sitting here and you are thinking you've already failed your KCSC. That's, that exam is coming in November, right? No, you haven't failed. You haven't. You haven't. There's always that 11th hour. This is the time. This is the time. But I want to warn you. If you want to recover your time, don't concentrate on those letters from boys from your home village or the school that you admire most. Some of those people that are telling you how much they love you, 10 years from now you'll be wondering who they were. In fact, you never want to be associated with them. All of us who have been in high school like you, we also had to, to, to boyfriends and to girlfriends. But I'm sure many of us never got married to them. Recover. If you ever lost traction because of somebody distracted you, there's a time to recover all. Don't put yourself in the mind there. Oh, somebody loves me even if I fail KCSE. Kuna mahali utakula hiyo mapenzi? Mnanielewa vizuri? I cannot come here as your patron or as a father, as a father, and pretend that I don't know these things happen. They do, because we were also there. For me, when I was in high school, the girls' school that Washira and I used to go, Kunyemelea, ilikuwa uko Mary Hill girls. Washira, I will use you a lot because you, are, you know you are my buddy. Some of those people that will go to Kunyemelea, uko, Sayato Kiwana Bure was Kachukua. Sikweli. That's the truth. So do not be distracted about two boyfriends. During our days, the swag was to nikufungia belt hapa hivi. Unaenda kama sura hii taka kuanguka. That that's the time. I don't know whether that, I don't know what is your style now. At you meangalia watch ya mtu sijui those kind of things they are good. But let them not cloud your judgment when you are coming to this exam. 
recover that which you may have lost. Are we together? Let me share with you some tips, then I can conclude. And we are going to give some awards to the best performing. I have some gifts for you as your patron. So come on, I will find you leo. Let me give you some tips that uh, would be very useful to you. Please write them down and then to Malize. It's good to tell you that um, exams can be very stressful. So the level of anxiety now is very high. Are we together? But you have to have the right approach so that you don't end up feeling like you lost it. You can turn that anxiety into excitement by showcasing your knowledge. I talked about revision, revision, the visioning strategies will help you so that your exams are not a nightmare. When we were in campus, I was a student leader, as I told you. We used to note that uh, around exam times is when there were a lot of strikes. Sababu kuna watu wengine wanajua hawajaiva vizuri, wanataka kuharibia wengi. So exams should not be where you feel like you are so stressed that there is nothing you can do. So understand how exams are done. Yeah? Know how exams are? And by the way, there is no magic in these exams. I don't know whether it has changed Mrs. Wambua, but we used to learn that uh, KCSE is going to come four cycles. So we are now in 2024. You'll find some of the questions in the year 2020. I don't know whether that has changed, but there is a way in which you can predict some of the questions. And I'm sure your teachers know how to do that better. Sindio? So follow that. Maskia? So just know these formats. Okay? And familiarize yourself with them. The exam structure, you know which questions, the long questions, the short ones, zile za max tatu, zile za max tano na kadhalika. And the mark allocation tells you. Don't concentrate on a question that is only one mark because you think that's what you crammed. Maskia? And those that are difficult, do them in group works. Muna changiana nyi wenye kwa nyewe. You hear me? Okay? Don't also create an unrealistic revision schedule. Hati nitamuka saa kumi, nisome, na nitalala saa saba ya usiku. Hiyo hita wezekana. You start dozing. Have a realistic revision schedule that fits within the school what? The school what? Program or timetable. But do not feel like you cannot do it. Just know when there are so many opportunities to do your work without necessarily compromising or running into indis indiscipline. Fraction is part of a whole. Fraction is part of a whole. There's, there's not whole without a fraction. You remember your board mass? You remember board mass? Now, make sure you come up with, you break down, divide your subjects into my manageable chunks. If you are doing and you are talking about Issues to do with um, reverse, for example. I think that was a form three a subject. I don't know whether it still is. You know how to tackle that. Maybe you don't understand that meandering and water and the contours and uh, conurbations and what's it. Break it into manageable chunks. Don't imagine you'll take one textbook and read it overnight. Are we together? Go bit by bit by bit. And you've not understood? Do it and do it again. It doesn't matter. Don't lose anything by repeating.
have your goals created daily, weekly, and have your targets. Uh, don't, don't move a lot, don't move a lot, don't move a lot, don't move a lot. You'll distract other people. Have your targets very clear. You know, Leo and Isaac Fanya subjects Ngapi. Don't have a thousand of them, you can't. And allocate more time to challenging topics. Okay? You know, when we, when we were in campus, we got to cram, to cram, a lot of download. Ata ukiulizo ukitoka kwa hiyo subject, nini ulisoma ata wezo kakumbuka? Don't cram. What you do is try to understand. Are we together? Because if you don't understand, it will evaporate kwa mtiani. Utafanya nini na ulikuwa unajua vile umeimba. And then it's good that you, what you have learned, talk it out. Because when you talk, unajisikiza we mwenye? Mwenye. Ask other people to, ask your fellow uh, students to ask you questions. Okay? Test yourself by asking questions. Use test papers. I, can want, I, I want to assure you, good people, hakuna question itakuwa ijawai kuulizwa before. Are we together? All your KCSE questions have been asked before somehow. Maybe using a different language. But the answer is the same. So ask yourself those questions. In fact, one of the most effective ways of revising is using uh, question, uh, questionnaires. I think you know that. And then visualize information so that you have more retention. I think I've said that. I have already told you to solve past papers to understand the exam pattern. I already told you they are repeated after every four years or thereabout. Teach somebody else. Don't be the one making noise when others are studying. And then find somewhere where when you sit down, you be to the Nyingianga. These things are universal. When I was in parliament, there's a place I used to sit. Tulikuwa tunakaa hapo na Milio Diambo na wengineo tukipiga kelele saa nyingine hapo kidogo. So you also know your click. Know where you thrive. Kama ni kwa darasa ama ni kwa room pale unalala, find somewhere where you sit and to do your work. And keep your things organized. Don't don't have a problem like before you study at Ujuki Tabi Kowapi, they are all over the place. Yeah. Organize your work in the way you want to study. And do not have things like phones, easy if it is in a time wasters. Or sitting in a very comfortable chair, before you know it, umeshika kitabu ya biology, unaza kungorota. Be careful. Ama usema yati, wacha nijingiza kwa blanketi kuna baridi saini julai. Rajipata kesho ya subuhi. Are we together? Rajipata kesho ya subuhi na hakuna kitulishi? Unaza kushindo uliachia wapi? Take care of yourself so that you don't get sick because that as, as well can be destructive. Eat well. Kula vizuri, hata kama pengine aishibishi, make sure you, had, you get a good breakfast. Exercise, don't be lied to. Exercise is very good. Kimbia lap moja. You don't need to have all the gym equipment, stretch uh, uh, workouts. Even for me, Isaac Mora, every day, I don't need to be in the gym for, for one hour, two hours. Sometimes 10 minutes, I'll do those you know, stretches, whatever, jump. It gives you a lot of boosting energy. Because you are tired, you've sat for long. Like, how many hours have we been sitting here? Are we together? Exercise on your own. You don't need to be the best footballer. It's, you, do, you are not competing for Olympics. Because it's that idea or you lift very heavy stones, whatever. This is for you to be so flexible and alert. And that does not require anything much. 5, 10 minutes, 15. Now, since you have to do it, you have to do it, you have to do it, Fanya manabili tatu mwili tazoea. Sleep well. Seven to nine hours are recommended, but because you are now in the revision mode, I would say 
about six, seven hours, maybe even five if you need to, but you can sleep more during the weekend. <laughs> and then, hapo uh, weekend and then practice relaxation techniques like breathing styles. Breathe in, breathe out, okay? If you have eyesight problems, let me give you a tip. Go into a dark room and try to open your eyes and close so that you release the tension. Take a lot of water. Water really helps. Are we together? Take a lot of water. And then um, during the exam, day, you will plan ahead, prepare your things in advance, have a good breakfast, follow the instructions that are usually at the front of the, the, fr the front page or something like that so that you understand, so that you don't answer your own questions. Manage your time so that you don't end up losing out and don't panic, don't panic. Don't panic. But most importantly, all that we do, pray to God. Omba sana, omba sana. There are some prayers that I find very useful. The prayers that we make around 3 a.m. in the morning. I know it's difficult, even for me. Now I can pray even two or three hours. God will help you. And when you are praying, start by repenting. Repent. Please write this. Repent. Omba then after that, give thanks to God. And it could be as simple as Mungu asanti, kalamu yangu ilikuwa mepotea, lakini nikaipata. You realize there are so many things to thank God for. By the time you are done, you will be so overjoyed. Because God dwells in the praises of, the, of his people. Then ukisha fanya your thanksgiving. Then now you can pray for others. Pray for yourself. Pray for others, pray for the country, and all of that. Now, this is not the CRE uh, uh, five segments of prayer. Prayer, intercession, supplication, and what have you. Even your exam, Nandisawa. And it follows Matthew chapter 6. The Lord's Prayer. So you know Matthew, Matthew chapter 6 is where we find the Lord's Prayer. I'm now reading the book of Matthew. I've just finished the book of Romans. Read the Bible for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself, guys. It's so powerful. The Holy Spirit will teach you to understand that. Respect your teachers. They are your kind of your second parents of sorts. Respect your parents. Be disciplined. This life you cannot make it without discipline. I know sometimes people say the crooks somehow seem to make it. But when it comes to academia, there are no two ways about it. People may have quick fixes, but only the true and authentic finish last and strong. I am very persuaded that we shall make it. We shall get our score right. That one I am. I am very, very persuaded. Don't give up. Don't give in. If anyone around you goes low, go high. When an ego is attacked by another bird, and possibly that bird has gone for the neck, because the ego can go to very high heights, it keeps on soaring high, because this other bird may not be able to do so, it goes very high until that other bird drops off. Keep on soaring high. I don't think you'll not have challenges. They already are existing. This is not the time to think about what is not happening at your home. Don't worry too much. You only have between August, because July is almost done, September, October, 
November is the exam. In fact, by October you start your practicals, I think even September nowadays. So you have a very limited time to make the difference of your life. That grade that will be in your certificate, on your certificate, will last for a lifetime. Every one of us here remembers what they got in their form for. So just know it's a life-changing moment and it is doable. I love you, my daughters, and I know, no, I don't know that I told you, but let me remind you, we had a new principal in my former high school, and for some reason, Tulipitana Kidogo. I think there was a misunderstanding, because he was new, and he wanted to exact himself, and to show that he was powerful, and that's okay, that's fine, that's okay. But he got it wrong in a way because he told me sarcastically that we shall rub shoulders in high places. Do you remember that story? And indeed we rubbed shoulders in high places. When I was introducing him to the president Uhuru Kenyatta, when I was a senator, didn't we rub shoulders in high places? So whatever that is thrown at you by anyone, turn a lemon into a lemonade. You are great people. Is there to behold. Any leader worth their salt at some point. Any great inventor worth their salt at some point thought that they were not going to make it. It is not the absence of calamities. It's not the fact that you may not face insurmountable challenges. It is the fact that you keep on going even when there is evidence to the contrary. And our dear good Lord, who created each and every one of us in his own image and likeness, who wishes us all to be co-heirs with the firstborn of all creation that is Christ Jesus will give you all that there is. Because he says again in the book of Matthew that if he's able to, to, to fend for the birds in the air, how much more can he give to us? In fact, Jesus says, seek ye first the kingdom, kingdom of God and everything shall be added unto you. Kwame Nkrumah paraphrased this and said, Seek ye first the political kingdom and everything shall be added unto you. In the same vein and without being sacrilegious, I would want to say here and today, seek ye first the academic kingdom and everything shall be added unto you. With God, nothing is impossible. I thank you. <laughs>